So congratulations on the film. I felt that it was a very local, in a specific family, in a specific period, but at the same time, it, it's very universal. I mean, uh, it doesn't matter where you, you live or what experience you had, you can relate to the film. How does one accomplish this, that, James? I'm really glad that you felt that way. I don't know. I don't think you can set out and say, I'm going to make something universal. It doesn't really work like that. I, I think that the way that it works is that, you know, people really, people fight the same battles. Life is very, very difficult in many ways. And we fight the same battles every day, each and every one of us. I think, in fact, I think that gets lost a lot in the idea of art. The idea of art for me is, it's not to, uh, not to try and shut yourself off from others or to prove your own greatness or anything like that. Uh, it's actually to extend the hand to others and say, this is, uh, this is what's wrong with the world. This is what's confusing. This is what's troubling. This is what makes us vulnerable. And I think that if you tell your own story directly and with uh, honesty, I think it will reverberate because there's only one of you. And I think people will recognize that. Jeremy, what brought you to the project? What did you like about Irvin, Irvin Graf? Well, I've, I've always wanted to work with James. I think he's one of the great filmmakers. And Was he uh, nice to you or not? Was he nice to me? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> sure. He was. He was. He's, a, he, he's, he's um, you know, when he talks about extending his sympathies, he, 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 he extends them to his actors in a really uh, remarkable way. Uh, the trust, but also uh, the sensitivity uh, that, that he gives to all of us. Um, you know, Irving on the page, he's described as a Jewish Stanley Kowalski with a PhD, uh, which which I thought, you know, I don't know if I can do this. I, I don't know how, how, how to do this. And on top of that, uh, that he's based on James's father, uh, it felt like, you know, in a sense, my job immediately was to sort of crack the emotional source code of who this person was, not who I imagined him to be, but who he actually was, and find a find a basis in reality to 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 create this character from. So that was part of the work. Uh, and James and I sort of did that together. But I was able to get access to his father and and you know ask James 10,000 questions and and that's sort of how we began. So but the James, but the range of the character, the tenderness, the goofiness, the humor, the rage, the cruelty and and then the humanity and and discernment. Uh, and ineptitude, all of it. It's all in there in a way that is very rare. Most characters have sort of one function. This is an incredibly multidimensional character, so it's a, a gift to play. So, James, how much is this, how autobiographical is the story? I mean, it's it's very autobiographical, but I don't, I don't know how important that is, to be honest with you. I, I feel like uh it's not a documentary you know what i mean it's sort of like the idea is to find some greater truth in it it's not really to make the facts adhere uh as it is the facts are pretty close but it's sort of i wish it were sort of more important than it is you know what's more important is the emotional truth behind it you know it's like i said it's it, it it's it's not like you're doing a, something for a history book uh, you're doing something that you're trying to achieve a kind of uh, beauty, not a prettiness, but a beauty, an ex a greater truth, as I say. I think it's a kind of like, uh, well, it's about uh, respecting the other and about being different to school. Yeah, and, that's, uh, certainly, that's certainly the case. But, you know, that's the case for uh, really the story of our lives is the struggle that human beings face on a day to day basis, I think, is the struggle to fit in to something bigger. You know, that being, uh, you know, American life particularly is so steeped in the tradition of individualism. And one of the struggles that we face is how to reconcile that with the need to be with others and to find solace with others. That's a struggle that we face every day. And I think fitting in, you see it in all places, right? Like social club, 
That's a need to fit in. I'm going to go play with my golf buddies. A need to fit in. A gang in the street gang. A need to fit in. Over and over and over, you see the human race's need to do this, which is why the pandemic has done such damage, because people needed to be together. And when you're in isolation for even two, three, four months, it's a it's the cruelest thing that can happen to a human being. Wonderful. Thank you very much, both of you. We're out of time. There's coming. Someone else is Thank coming. Thank you. Nice Thank to talk you. to you. Great talking to you. Great talking to you.